Hey everyone, welcome. I didn't know that this, I didn't think to unscrew this. I'm not the kitchen person in my house, you guys. Matt is the kitchen person, so I didn't even really know that this came apart. So you can take it apart. And these are wood. You don't really need to sand this. You really, really don't need to. It's got a pretty good little tooth on it anyway. But they really do say with the silk paints, if you're gonna be using the silk paints, um, you need to do like a scuff coat. Uh, just scuff it up a little bit, which is not a big deal. We, I'm gonna use their surf prep pads. I'm using very fine right now. Um, and you just wanna scuff it just like this. This is what we mean when we say scuff it. You just wanna kinda like, degloss it a little bit by just running this over. You don't want to sand down into the wood grain. You don't want to see raw wood. So I'm just using a microfiber rag to take the dust off. You can use a baby wipe if you want. I'm gonna do this little top piece right here. Now I'll do the same thing to that to this big giant one that I have as well. I'll just scuff it as well. Um, now even though I'm scuffing it, uh, I'm still gonna use a primer on this and let me tell you why. Uh, because we are going, we're doing the hardest, most challenging thing that you can do in painting furniture world or painting smalls world, and that is to go from a deep brown to white. There's just some extra things that you need to do um, to block the difference between the darkest of dark wood and the absolute purest and lightest of color. You can just paint like this. This is Boss in white that's what i'm using here boss in white now see the streaks so what i like to do is i when you're going dark to white you're going to have streaks so i actually did not use a small brush today i used a big brush like this and i pounced it on i like this finish i use it on my gumball machines i use it on my teapots anything that um, it's going to be handled a lot. I just think this is a really, really good durable finish. I did this on my mixer right now. That's one coat of primer. Okay. So this is two coats of primer. So this is one and then this is two. That's two coats of primer. This is two coats of primer and one coat of paint. I want to see my little book. It's like my transfer. Isn't it pretty? So pretty, right? It was a gift. My, my assistant gave it to me. Okay, I drew the little salt and pepper shakers. Don't make fun of what they look like, okay? I drew them. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find my center. Well, guess what? They already found my center for me because like, well, it's kind of off center. <laughs> but I'm gonna use that as my center, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna carry these lines around the side. I'm gonna carry them all the way over the edges, just like that. So you're just gonna hold it in your hand, hold it right in front of you. They do not have to be perfect. And you're just gonna go from one to the other and just carry it straight down. So I just flipped it upside down now because now I am finishing out my lines on the bottom. I already showed y'all how to do that. So now we need to decide on our lines. So let me show you something. Let me show you a little trick. How do you, make a straight line all the way around something that's round. Tape doesn't really work because your tape is flat. So what I do is I use a rubber band. This is a great hack, y'all. Now I'm gonna trace that. Now it might be easier to trace with a pencil, this line, um, because the this is kind of fat or unless you wanna get like the tiny Sharpie marker. All right, have I gone all the way around? Yes, I've gone all the way around. So there we go. So I've drawn my horizontal line. See that? I'm just gonna kind of look at the size of the check from underneath here to here, and then I want it to be the same, right? So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball, I'm gonna kind of eyeball it right here with my pencil, just kind of eyeball it, and I'm gonna just do a little line, just like that. You see that? Now this is another hack, so be, beware. You see it up there? See it? Okay. Now, most people, most people would just keep going, right? They would just do the next one and the next one and the next one. Well, if you do it like that, you end up getting higher and higher and higher. When you get around to the other side, they're like way far apart and it's not the same. I'm gonna skip the next one. I'm gonna skip it and I'm gonna go to this one. And then I'm gonna turn it this way and I'm gonna skip this one. 
and I'm gonna go to this one. The reason I'm doing that is because I can see, I can see, I can look at it and see the how high it is. So I'm gonna do it here, and then I'm gonna spin it and do it there. I'm just gonna put my point in that corner, just like that, and then I'll flip my point over. But painting is not the hack. The hack is teaching you guys how to paint. I made a little boo-boo on that one, so not a big deal. I can just kind of wipe at it, and I can also just touch it up with my salt water. I don't know what has gotten into me. Okay, so I'm gonna put my little piece of paper down here, and I'm just gonna use my paper. So you wanna, what? because it's curved, it's, it's you know, uh, bulbous, it goes out. And I'm just gonna look at it and flip it all the way to the other side, directly to the other side, because I wanna draw a line down that side. Remember, we divide it in half, and then we're gonna divide our halves in half, and then we're gonna divide our halves in half again, and that keeps us even, so that when we paint black, white, black, white, black, white, it stays black, white, black, white, black, white, okay? Okay, just didn't help it. Couldn't help myself. So, now look, see how close our stripes are gonna be together? Oh, wait, 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 there we go. Stripe, stripey, stripey, stri <laughs> stripey. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and paint all of, from here down, I'm gonna paint from here down black. I'm gonna paint everything black. This is gonna be gold, and this is gonna be gold, but I'm gonna paint black anyway, and then I'll just highlight with the gold over the black paint. Two things you can do. Three, three things you can do for, um, so I'm just gonna dip it in the lid, just right here in the lid, and I'm just gonna put press just like this. And I do this a lot on furniture. Okay, hold on. See the dot? That's a good dot, right? So just kind of evenly space them out. It does, no one's gonna look and really pay attention if your dots are you know, exactly evenly spaced, but okay, there we go, done. So this will be gold stripe, gold stripe. We'll paint this in black and white. Gold stripe, gold stripe. Love you all so much. Take care. See you later. Bye.